Hello and welcome to another uh, video. Um, this video it's about still about the Android uh, Mono for Android uh, software. And on this video, I'm gonna show how you can. Uh, it's something really simple, but it was kind of hard for me to figure it out since the way the properties are in in Android for Mono are different. For Mono for Android, it's different. For example, how can I center this? Uh, text view or view text I'm sorry text view uh, to do that you have to I guess figure out that in this the property is called gravity then you put it left or in this case I want it center so that's one of the things that I want to show everybody in case they want to get started and they can figure that out and the next thing I want to show in this video is that when you click this button called reset month I want to see a well what we call a message a message box in that net here in in Android it's called uh, they call it um, <clears throat> alert dialog it's kind of the same thing but uh, this video will show you how you can do your own um, alert box so here we have the same code as before when you click on it here basically we're saying show dialog now this show dialog is part of the activity you currently have so for example this activity has a property called show dialog and as you can see it takes in an argument which is an integer so here i'm passing reset button and how do I know that um, what that is as you can see here I have a constant uh, with the name of reset button and we are assigning zero to it uh, this is to keep track of all kinds of alert you might have in your activity so instead of using zero here we just use this name and then it's easier to manage it if you want to show the same reset button somewhere else so what you do is once you the user clicks on it you show dialog you pass your your int and then what's going to happen is you have to come here into the section the section called uh, dialog on create dialog so basically here we're going to overwrite like we did on resume before so what we're saying is here when you create the dialog when Android creates the dialog depending on the ID here we're gonna switch and we're using this switch so you can have other types of dialogs so in this case we're gonna be using uh, the class with alert dialog and this one has a, <clears throat> a method that allows you to uh, build one for you build one with properties like uh, the first thing it will ask you is for the context which is just the activity and then you can start setting properties for your dialogue so this one you're setting the, the title and it takes in a string then you set a message as a string and then here it says set cancelable so and this means that the user cannot get out of it just by going with the back uh, button in the Android phone. They have to click OK or cancel. Now here is where we're gonna show what kind of buttons we have. So it's kind of uh, different here because here they call positive set positive button. So in this case we're gonna we're talking about the OK button and right after that it takes uh, an event handler and it's in this case that event handler is oh, oops, excuse me sorry this uh, event handler we're going to do this what they call uh, lambda expression so basically we're saying well if they select ok the event is going to trigger this method on our class right now now if they hit on no which is here they call it negative button 
then we're just gonna say nothing we're not doing anything just get out of it and the final step is just to create the actual alert dialog so once you create we are returning an alert dialog back to here so as you can see we're returning a dialog based on this builder and obviously if they click OK then we call this method reset my fields which is right here we reset all of those all the hours magazines and all that it gets reset if not nothing happens so I'm gonna run this guy so here I have this one with my name on it so we'll just wait until it's ready Now if you have an Android phone, it's better to test it in there because you're actually working with a physical device instead of uh, this emulator. It's okay, but the phone is much better to test this. Okay, it's ready. Click OK. So we should see it soon. Here we go. Well, almost. So remember, this program is really simple, just to test out how everything kind of works. Okay, so we were talking about this guy. It's just to add stuff. I'm gonna add something so we can delete it. Uh, Okay, so we're done. We go back. We want to go view. Here's our info. Now we want to reset. We should get a pop up saying, Are you sure? So if I hit no, I should keep my data there. If I hit yes now, it should be wiped. As you can see, it's working out correctly. So, purpose of this video is to show how you can do this type of alert dialog on your Android application. Thank you for watching.